Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. Today I am excited to do a review comparison of the Day Designer Mini and the Simplify Planner by Emily Lay. So let's get right into this. I have a older review of these two compared. It's the 2017 Simplify Planner in that comparison and it was the full size Day Designer. So this time I'm doing the mini day designer because actually the size of the mini day designer is closer to the size of the simplified planner. And I will link that old review down below if you guys want to take a look, but this is going to be the newer updated one. Let's get right into it. First of all, the question everyone always asks is the size difference in the page and then the paper weight difference. I just measured the page, the exact page, not the cover. The page in the Day Designer Mini is 8 by 6. The page in the Simplified Planner is 8 and 3 fourths by 6. So it is only 3 fourths of an inch taller than the Day Designer Mini. Let me show you that. I am going to line these bottom edges up exactly flush. So this side where the rings are is flush and these bottom edges are flush. It may not look like this bottom edge is flush because of the camera, but it is. So there is your difference right there on the top. The sides are pretty much the same. That's it. It's really just three quarters of an inch taller. That is the only difference between the Day Designer Mini size and the Emily Lay size. And if you look at thickness of these books also, they really are pretty much comparable. Neither one has a lot of extra note pages. There is a few note pages in Day Designer. I will get into that and show you. And so there is not a big difference in weight or size. So just three quarters of an inch taller. The Simplified Planner is $58. The Day Designer Mini is $49. The Day Designer Full Size is $59. But I already have a comparison video out of the Day Designer Full Size versus the Day Designer Mini. So I will let you watch that if you're trying to decide between those two. Basically, Emily Lay falls in the middle of them. So if you're trying to decide between these three, um, the closest in size to the Simplified Planner is the Mini. But if you need bigger than the Simplified Planner, then Day Designer comes in a full size or a Mini. And like I said, I do have a full comparison of the Mini and the different sizes between the full size day designer. But today we're gonna focus on the mini and the simplified planner differences. Well, I'm gonna get right into it. They both have good O-rings. They both function well. Emily Lays are a bright gold and day designer are more of a muted. I know I'm not choosing the right word there. Not muted is not right. the right word, matte, sorry. A matte gold in the day designer rings. And Emily Lay is a bright, gold as you can see. Day Designer has many covers to choose from. Emily Lay has six covers to choose from although many of hers for the academic year are already sold out. These are both academic year planners. The Simplified starts in August of 2018 and the Day Designer starts in July of 2018 and also they actually give you all the days of June as a bonus. You just don't have a June monthly layout. So Day Designer Mini actually starts sooner. And then since Day Designer Mini is starts in July, it goes through the end of June 2019. And Simplified Academic Year goes through the end of July 2019. A question many people have is on the calendar year, are they different? They're, they're not different in either one of these planners at all. It's just the months it covers. So the calendar year in Simplified Planner is just January through December. That'll be of next year, 2019. And the same with the Day Designer. It'll be uh, January through December, December, 2019. Both of these companies do their cover releases, their big new cover releases at academic year time. So I know for Emily Lay, for sure, it will just be the same six covers at a calendar year release, which is in September, in the very beginning of September. I think September 5th, but don't quote me on that. And Day Designer will also have a calendar year release 
and I'm like 99% sure that they won't, that their covers are already released too with academic gear and there won't be any different there. Let's get into this. They both have a front pocket right here. They both come with some stickers, but their stickers are very different. So let me show you. Day Designer comes with these two pages of these really pretty gold stickers. They're just, you know, some flags, some hexagons, some appointment markers. They have a few stars and hearts in there. So you get two pages of these gold stickers with Day Designer. You get this one page of stickers with the Simplified Planner. They are color stickers and they're fun and they're cute and they come hooked in. But of course you can tear that sheet out or just use them right off there. And then they both come with a pocket like I showed you. Emily Lay's Simplified Planner are all lined in navy this year no matter what cover you choose. And Day Designer Mini, the inside color of the end pages of your cover depend on what cover you pick. So they coordinate with the color you pick and I really like that. Uh, Day Designer comes with a ruler this year, and it works and functions pretty well. I don't see any big problems with this ruler, and I think it's a nice extra, and it has a nice look to it. So the Today just sticks out. Emily Lay sells magnetic bookmarkers only. She does not have a ruler. And also, uh, Day Designer signs, sells magnetic bookmarks also. I do not have either one of their company's magnetic bookmarks. But I did want to show you, since we're talking about rulers, that my very favorite O-ring ruler, if you need a ruler for any planner that has O-rings, is this ruler from Get to Workbook. It functions perfectly in any O-ring planner, and it is really my favorite. It's not too thick at all, but it's just thick enough to be substantial. It pops in and out really easily. Sorry, you got to start on the top ring in this planner, or it'll go too long. It's really easy to pop in and out. It moves seamlessly. It's clear, it's really thin. It's just, it's my favorite O-ring ruler. The way it functions and feels and works in the planner. So if you needed an O-ring ruler, you can buy this on gettoworkbook.com, just the ruler itself. I believe it's $4, gettoworkbook.com. I will try to remember to link that down below. Now, in the mini, this ruler does not fit since it's three quarters of an inch shorter in its length up and down there. The ruler does stick out of the bottom. Now, that might not bother some people and they still might want it, but it might bother some people. So just to let you know, it would work in the full size though. I just always like to mention because really I've not found an O-ring ruler that I like better than this Get to Work book one. And if you like magnetic page markers better, then that's great. Both of these companies sell their magnetic page markers that match their planners. Let's go right to the pen test, and then we will go through the planners, because I know everybody wants to know how these papers compare, because that is a question I get over and over, you guys. Okay, here's my pen test in both of these books. And I don't know why I don't have a mild liner in there. I will go get one. Okay, so I've got pretty much all the same pens on both pages. I've got a highlighter on both pages. It's a mild liner. And we will look at the page layout after this. But I just want to point out, because this is the biggest question I get, Day Designer is 60 pound paper and Emily Lay is 70 pound paper. That doesn't mean that one of these, that's not a huge difference. So let's look at the back of this. Emily Lay's paper does feel thicker. It does feel nicer and more substantial. They are both white paper, but they have, you know, every white can be a little bit different. So they're both, they're both white, but I would say Emily Lay's might be a brighter white. They're, they're like a different hues of white. So if we turn over this pen test, Let's take a good look here at both of them. So just from up here, you can tell you can see some ghosting, and I think that is normal for some for 70 pound paper. I think that's a normal amount of ghosting. But what I'm surprised about is the day designer paper is 60 pound, and yet I don't think it has bad ghosting for 60 pound paper. You can see a little bit more where the mild liner was. I mean, nothing bleeds through and there's no heavy ghosting. So that is the day designer. 
And I can't really tell you any more than that than describing the feel of the paper and showing you the pen test. It's really up to you to decide. Considering this is 60 pound paper Day Designer, 70 pound paper Emily Lay, I am shocked at how, how well the Day Designer does because it doesn't seem to me that it is the pound of the paper is less when I see less ghosting like that. But it doesn't have the same luxurious feel. I will say that. It doesn't feel as thick as Emily Lay paper and it doesn't feel as luxurious. So I think what it comes down to is not just the pound weight of the paper, but what type of paper it is for the feel and the ghosting. Emily Lay's is Mohawk Via paper or Mohawk Via Vellum, it says. And I'm not sure if I'm saying that last word right. Day Designer, oh, I can't remember if they list what type of paper it is. I think it just says 60 pound bright white. So they do have completely different feels and they have different looks and they do ghost differently. So that is up to you to decide. I know many people just have a cover that they love or a page layout that they love and they have, they have to go with their gut and choose on that. And then they just, they deal with whichever um, paper they end up based on the layout and the cover that they want. I have to tell you guys the truth. I too am drawn to certain covers and just absolutely, you know, love them. But what it comes down to is my daily planner is actually always flipped over like this on one page. So I rarely get to see my covers of my dailies because I stay at home with them and I don't travel with them. So I do see the edges and I do see the inside end page color. So that's important to me and I do get to see the edge, but I don't get to see the cover. So I try to always remind myself, definitely do not choose a planner brand based on the cover because I don't see my covers much. That may be different for you. I try to go based on page layout and paper type for me because those two things are really important to me. Of course, I have to like the cover, but I mean, I love both these covers in a different way. I, I love them both. They're both beautiful covers. Both of these books are quality made books that hold up really well. Of course, I just use my planners at home, so I honestly can't tell you how they hold up out in the world, like being thrown in your bag and thrown here and there. A simplified planner I have used for three years. This is my fourth daily simplified planner to buy. And a day designer I have used off and on their two, two years of samples that they've given me. So I have actually gotten into both of these planners and used them, both of them. So let's talk about their page layouts. Since I don't want to be distracted by the pen, I'm going to turn us both over and then we will talk about also what their weekend pages look like. Both of them split the weekends. So the weekends share a page, they do it differently. And then we will also talk about the monthly layout. Okay, first let's say Day Designer has no color on their pages. Emily Lay has a color per day. It is her happy stripe colors. And so you have the same color per day for your entire book. And let me also tell you, I have a full review of this simplified planner along with comparing it to her, to uh, the weekly simplified planner. And I will list that down below in the description. So if you're really interested in one of these planners, I have a full review of them on their own where we'll go through the planner more. Okay. But Emily Lay is Monday is Navy. Okay, Tuesday is um, a dark teal blue. Wednesday is an aqua blue. Thursday is a Kelly green. Friday is an orange, which is not a happy stripe color. Happy stripe colors are the colors of her tabs. But it used to be yellow and people complained they couldn't see the date well. And so they changed that one to orange. So orange is not the happy stripe color, but they've had to take out the yellow. And then pink is Saturday and hot pink or fuchsia is Sunday. And that's going to repeat every single week. Day Designer has no colors. It's always gold tabs and you just have your really light gray and then white page. So let's go through the page layout of each and the differences. Day Designer, the date is very small up at the top along with the day of the week written there. Then you have a do box, dinner, dollars and don't forget you have a today's top three and then you have a quote on every single page okay then you have a schedule 
from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. That is in the mini. In the full size, your times actually go further. Your times go from 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. So you have, if you need a bigger page or a bigger time range, but you like the day designer page layout, that is the only difference between the full size and the mini are there's more to do tick boxes and your time goes from five to nine and all the boxes are just a little bit bigger. But I have a full review comparing these two day designers if you're trying to decide between those. In the mini day designer, it's 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Then you have your to do tick off boxes. Then you have a small note section down here and a small daily gratitude. Now, Emily Lay has less boxes to fill out and tick off on her page and her page is three quarters of an inch bigger. So you have to do tick offs, you have from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. And then you have a huge note section which she changed from last year. There used to be a line down the middle of this and it was notes and then it said dinner. And now that line is away, which I really like, and it's just a huge note section. Your words, notes, and your to-do and your my day match the color of the day. So like Monday's navy, and those words, my day, to-do, and notes match the color of that day, which I really like. So they change with the color of the day, and I just like that detail. All right, so day designer, many people just love that there's a top three box, that you get a quote every day, that you have just a designated little spot for dinner, for anything that's due that day, for dollars spent that day, and for something to not forget that day. Because I am the planner lady that really likes to tell you all the details, I counted how many to-do boxes you get. You get 13 in the day designer mini, and you get 16 boxes in the simplified planner which I want to keep calling Emily Lay because that used to be the name of it, but now it's just Simplified Planner by Emily Lay. So if I hesitate when I'm saying that, that's, that's what's happening. So your page layouts don't change until you get to a weekend. Now let's go over how the weekend looks in each one of these books. Simplified on the weekend has your weekend split horizontally. Day Designer splits you vertically, so it's very different there. Okay, Simplified has a My Day on the weekend and then just a To Do. And then you still have your header. We didn't talk about this. Simplified leaves you a big header even on your normal days. And I really like that because you can write in anything big that's happening that day. Somebody's birthday or an all-day event or just something you need to remember for that day. You have a spot, like a header, to put that up there. And in Day Designer, you actually have a header, but it's just a little bit smaller. But you do have a header up here if you want to put in somebody's birthday or an all-day event. So you do have that in both of them. And on your weekends, you still have a little bit of a header. Sunday, she leaves you a bigger amount of room because she says she prompts you to write a happy memory from this week. I like that little prompt because it reminds you to show some gratitude, to think of something good that happened that week, or just something really happy that you want to remember. And if you don't want to, then it's just a blank space and that little prompt doesn't take up much room at all. Then you come down and she has Sunday, my day, but you do not get as many to-do boxes because Simplified Planner, they pre-print every week on Sunday weekly prep items. And these are the weekly prep items. Plan meals for the week ahead, tidy up for a clean slate on Monday, write task appointments for the week, and fill your tank. Enjoy what matters most. Now, I know many people love having those tasks pre-printed there. They just, they love it to remind them to do those things every Sunday. And I get that. But for me personally, in my opinion, because we all use planners in different ways, I would just like that room to be extra to-do lines for me to write in things for me. Because I don't necessarily do her same tasks every Sunday. And that takes up four spots on my Sunday. And my Sunday's are already really small because it's half a page. That's just my personal opinion. There is an Etsy company, probably more than one, but one that I know of named Faye Creates. And she makes, uh, one of my subscribers let me know, they actually DM'd me, that she makes stickers that fit over this in your Simplify Planner, either weekly or daily, which is this one, and fit right over that so you can have more room to write in if you don't want those weekly prep tasks. 
but that can add up to have to buy stickers for an entire year because that's 52 stickers there. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Be designer on the weekends. You just have a top three. You still have your quote, but you just have a top three. And then you have Saturday and Sunday vertically and they give you 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. But of course, you don't have to use your time slots that way. You could just use them for to-dos for the day or things you're going to do that day. Saturday and Sunday is a combined date up here in the corner. And then down here is something I really love. In any daily planner, I absolutely love when they have a look at the next week. You can write out any main event or appointment that's happening on each day. And so while you're on the weekend and you're thinking of planning your next week, you have a really nice just lay out there, kind of recap of what, what is coming up this next week. What is my next week going to look like? And I think that's really helpful in a daily planner because sometimes that's what people struggle with in a daily planner is not being able to see their week ahead. So I love that. Absolutely love it. Let's look at what the monthly layout looks like and talk about note pages. Simplified has no note pages, and this is probably a good way to see the paper color really well right now with this day designer paper laid over Emily Lay. So on months in day designer, when your day ends on this side, on the left side, then you get a notes page right here on your tabbed page with the next month on months that it doesn't end on that side. Let me find one and I'll show you. So you have a notes page on many months, but some months it ends on the right hand side, like this month, November. And in that case, when the last day of the month ends on the right-hand side, then you don't have a notes page that month. So it just goes, it's that last day of the month, and you go into your monthly spread. In Simplified, I know I keep wanting to say Emily Lay. In Simplified, you do not have any notes pages at all. Now, Simplified does make a little notebook you can buy from them for $10, which fits in this pocket. And that way you could have, you know, a notebook with you at all times to take notes so that's a good option let's go ahead and look at the September calendar in both of these we'll compare the same month so first let's just kind of look here at the left hand side of each page in these simplified you guys I keep wanting to call it Emily Lay maybe I just should because I keep pausing and almost saying the wrong thing so many times in this video simplified planner gives you the same color as your tab. So the tabs go in happy stripe color. And so this is the dark teal. And so your month is written in the dark teal and her little pineapple emblem is there too in every month. But the month color matches that. Then there's no other color on your month. You have a simplicity tip each month, which like this one is make a list of 10 family favorite dinners to keep in rotation this month. Then you have your previous month and your next month look up here. Your notes is on the left side of your page, which that makes a big difference to some people because some planners, it's on your right side. That bumps your day of the week to a different side of the spiral, and that can be something you have to get used to when planning. You have a Sunday start, which is typical in your monthly calendar. You have holidays written in in a really light gray right here if you can see one up close there and when your days do have to be divided at the end of the month because there's like five weeks in a month it's divided diagonally and looks like that so let's look at day designer compared to that day designer has number one they are a monday start on your monthly so this is something that you really have to make note of some people either love it or they can't deal with it so that's a, like a deal breaker for some people a Monday start monthly, and then your Saturday and Sunday are grouped together, the weekends together, and just like Kobanichi does and so many other planners, but in America, it's just not as typical. Saturday and Sunday is grouped together, and then they have kind of graded out with really light gray lines so that your Saturday and Sunday are together and your work week, you can see it easily is separated. Then their holidays are actually written in and flagged. So you see all these little flags and their holidays written in. The flag denotes any holiday. So September happens to have a lot and like the first day of autumn. You have a flag to denote that and it is also noted on the exact um, daily page so that you also have a flag there. 
and the holiday right there. Simplified holidays, let me show you, are at the top of the page like this. Where's my Labor Day? So it just says Labor Day, really small, and the color of that day on the very right, right there. So that's how they do their holidays differently. Labor Day and then Labor Day. And then we did get a look at our monthly. So their note section is also on the left, the same as Simplified. And they actually have a huge header, huge margin at the top here. If you wanted to use that for monthly habit tracking or monthly notes you needed um, or decorating or anything because there is a huge header. Simplified has a big header too, but more it's, it's big as in wide, but a, a lot of it's taken up with the month being right there in the middle. Whereas Day Designer, your month is on the right hand side. You do not have the previous month and next month at a glance, and you do not have a quote or anything. And Emily Lay has the simplicity tip right there. Now, both of these come with um, some goal setting things in the beginning, some think about how you wanna plan your life type of things. I'm not gonna go through all of those because I have those in these separate videos. I will just flip through them real quick. You have a nameplate page and Simplified Planner after your stickers. You have a letter from Emily. You have the process of simplifying, how to use your Simplified Planner. You have a year at a glance, 2018, 2019, since this is the academic year. You have 2018, 2019 holidays, which I really love. So you can tell I've already highlighted the holidays, which I wanna make sure to note in my planner, the ones that fall on different days each year. So I love when planners just have these holidays listed out. So I know when Daylight Savings Times is, Easter, Mother's Day, Father's Day, and Thanksgiving Day. Those days that don't stay the exact same every year. And then you have simplified prep work, kind of what worked last year, what didn't work. And she takes you through thinking about new routines and habits. Think about how you want your week to look. Think about your morning and evening routine. Then you have the simplicity challenge all laid out for you. I talk a little bit more about all these beginning pages in these individual videos of each of these planners. And then you have your yearly bucket list right here. And then you go right into your August. Okay, and Day Designer have your nameplate page and your word for the year box. Then you go into Living a Well-Designed Life, a letter from Whitney English, who was the founder of Day Designer how to use Day Designer. It's a reality check chart, thinking about your core values and your top five. They take you through this whole little system to help you figure out what are your most important goals, um, how to turn those heart goals into intentions, and you have your ideal monthly layout, your ideal weekly layout, how you want your ideal week to look. You also get a full glance at 2018 and 2019. And then you do not get that holiday list in here, but all those holidays are flagged. Both of these planners do not have any notes pages at the end, um, except for Day Designer does have this one because it falls, the month ends on the left side. So same as all the months in between, you get this one notes page on the right side and that's the end. And Simplified ends right here on August 1st. So it's just supposed to go through the end of July, but they do give you through August 1st because it's the page on the right side right there. And then that is the end. And so that is how both of these planners look. I hope that I pointed out everything that you wanted to see as far uh, as differences in these two books. They are both, honestly, in my opinion, good planners. I like them both. I wouldn't say that one is better than the other, in my personal opinion, from feeling and using them both. I will say the Emily Lay paper feels thicker and feels better. It feels like a more luxurious paper. It's 70 pound. Day Designer paper is 60 pound. And yet the 60 pound paper might ghost less than the Emily Lay paper, even though it feels better. Those are the big differences. I hope it helped you make your decision. They're both beautiful planners. You cannot go wrong with either one. Both of these companies have developed beautiful planners. I love both of these companies. 
I'm really happy to have been able to do this comparison for you guys. I wanted to make sure to show you guys also that both of these planners for the price of them come in beautiful keepsake boxes, which not every planner for this price does. So I really enjoy that because I use these keepsake boxes to store cards in, markers in, planner stickers, my kids' programs from school. They really, they just make photos. They make great keepsake boxes for so many things if you don't want to store your planner in it at the end of the year. Simplified Planner by Emily Lay. They made special hot pink boxes for this, their 10th year. This is their 10th anniversary. They're usually navy blue. I have several of her navy blue and gold boxes. So this year it was hot pink for the special 10 year. It comes all wrapped in bubble wrap, but I just wanted to show you how it looks in here. And it's a really nice box. So I really enjoy, for the price of the planner, getting a keepsake box. And Day Designer comes in this drawer-like box. So you can pull out the whole drawer, and it's this beautiful teal color inside. And you can even use this part just by itself, like in a drawer, for drawer organization of pens or sticky notes, if you don't want to use the whole box together. So they both have great options um, with reusing these boxes, and I just think it's something nice. And especially if you're giving a gift, it's nice too, but it just feels like a gift to yourself if you're just getting it for yourself. But I want to make sure you knew that they both come in keepsake boxes, even though that's not the reason at all why we would purchase, pick one planner over another. But it is just a nice token that comes with it. Thanks for watching. If you don't follow me on Instagram, please join me there. It's where I check in every day and I show all the planners that I'm using constantly, talk about planning every day, show what reviews are coming up. So I am at Amanda's Favorites on Instagram. All right, happy planning, you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.